What's going on guys? Welcome back to another shoe custom video. Today I'm doing a special kind of video. A guy on Instagram named G9Kicks requested a serial killer themed custom. So that's what I'm doing today. He sent me pictures of a few of the things that he wants on these shoes. And honestly, I think that they're going to come out really cool. If you want to order a custom pair of shoes, you can message me on Instagram at Sneaker Sniper Customs. Also, all the shoes that you see behind me are for sale on my Mercari page, which is linked below. So go check that out. I forgot to give a shout out to the top three comments from two videos ago. Those people are Guillermo, Jin and Noir, and Kane Wolf. Thank you for commenting. The same thing goes for this video. I'm going to give a shout out to the top three comments in next week's video. Make sure you subscribe so you can see next week's video because it's going to be really cool. I've got a lot of work ahead of me, so let's get started with the video. Before we get started, we got to take out the laces. Using some acetone and cotton balls, I'm going to rub down the entire shoe to prepare the leather for paint. The first part to this custom is painting the swoosh, so I'm going to use painting tape to mask off the areas I don't want to get paint on. The guy who ordered these wanted a red swoosh with a black outline, so first I'm going to paint the entire thing red with some Angelus paint. The paint is pretty thin, so I had to put about four coats on. Once I had a solid red color, I went in with a small detail brush and painted the area outside the stitching black. Now when you remove the tape, none of it should have leaked. The next step for this custom is painting on the drips. When doing this, it's important to make sure that the drips are falling straight down. If you draw them slanted, it doesn't look realistic. So I always go in with a pencil and draw the lines going straight down before I lay down any paint. When I started laying down some paint, I went from right to left, which was a mistake because I'm right handed. So my hand started rubbing around some of the paint. So make sure you start on the left and work your way to the right. I always make the ends of the drips more circular so it looks like a bead of paint is falling down the shoe. Since the theme of the shoes has to do with serial killers, I thought it would be cool if one of the swooshes had been sliced in half. To do this effect, I made a mark where I wanted to cut the swoosh, and then I used an X-Acto knife to remove it from the shoe. There's small threads underneath the swoosh, so I used a lighter to burn them down and then pulled the rest out with my fingers. If there's paint or any marks under the swoosh, use some acetone to clean it up. On both pieces of the swoosh, there were tiny threads sticking out, so I decided to paint those red to look like small intestines. Once I figured out where I wanted to place the cutoff part of the swoosh, I traced around it with a pencil so I would know where to put it. The glue I used for this is some E6000. Make sure to apply glue to the back of the swoosh and also the area where you're putting it on the shoe to make sure it bonds the right way. You'll have to apply pressure while the glue is drying. Now that that's done, the last thing to do is to paint on the drips. The customer wanted the back of the shoes to say serial killer, so I put tape on the back so I could practice until I got the right positioning and size. I did the actual painting off camera, but this is what it looked like in the end. Now's the fun part, the blood spatters. I dipped the brush into the lid and got a good amount of paint, and then from a distance I flung the paint at the shoe, which caused a cool blood spatter design. I also used a toothbrush and dipped it in paint to get a different blood spatter effect. All you have to do for this is just use your thumb to flick the bristles and the paint will spatter across the shoes. After that, I did go in and add a few other small details that the customer requested, but that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys want to order a custom pair, you can message me on Instagram at Sneaker Sniper Customs. Leave a like and a comment on this video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I've been following your trail, you don't hide it well. Yeah, I should have played it safe, kept my eye on ya But I didn't, now your venom's in my bloodstream Yeah, you got me exposed, then you dug deep Ooh. Cobra, Cobra, cold-blooded, no love I let you in, shed my skin Cobra, Cobra, cold-blooded, no love I let you in, shed my skin